Good night, good morning, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you may be. Um, I am your host, Cooley Ranks here, Yaman. And I have the special guest uh, from the Neville Staples band, Mr. Neville Staples. Hi, Cooley. How you doing, mate? Boy, I'm all right. How are you doing, sir? Well, you know, we're just coping with it. We got it. Yeah. But apart from that, we're doing all right. Doing all right in the COVID. Oh, that's another thing, isn't it? It's cramping up the musicians right now. Boy. But you know what? You should be really inspired by some some happenings of the world because there's a lot of things going on in the world, as you know. You know? Yeah, but the same thing as well. What we're doing, we're writing about it. Um, we're here. We can't go out. Well, we go out, but studio is a bit difficult, so we just do a lot of writing about what's happening. So are you are you zooming? Are you using these technology now to zoom? Are you using that? Well, you're using it now. Yeah. Are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Because I'm um, I'm old school. That that's what they say. Um, yeah. My wife, Sugary. Yeah. She's very technical. She does all the technical stuff. Yeah, I know. She's incredible. Everything. Yeah, she's fantastic. Yeah. We were talking about her behind the scenes. She's she's the woman behind the man. Oh, there you go. If a road boy need a road girl, you know. Listen, <laughs> the, there's a woman behind every man. There's a woman pushing him. Yeah. Do this because you're not yeah. doing it right. She's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. She's, She's brilliant. amazing. She's amazing. She's amazing. We're gonna bring her in a little bit later and talk to her. Too yes, we will. Yeah. And she'll give you more information than I I'm, will. I'm sure she will have it all down in the brain, like at, at really a fingertip to access it. I should be, I should be. Of course, of course. So anyway, how are you going on over there? <clears throat> well, we are being innovative over here in America. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of racial tension that mm -hmm. that is forcing people to address, um, let's say, the elephant in the room, which is racism. Yeah, see, um, yeah. And and inequality for for most for a lot of people. So it's it's forcing people to take a look at the environment that they live in and how they're contributing to the negative or the positive. So um, having said that, I see a lot of positivity coming yeah. from the artists and from, from the people themselves um, standing out against injustice, which is, I mean, what is what your whole music, your music was built on. That's right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And at the minute as well, myself and my wife, we're writing about what's happening around us right now. Um, like I said, there's a lot of uh, injustice going on with um, black lives and all of it. Yeah. You, you know, um, we're getting it set here as well. Injustice, yeah. we just got to push through and get on with it. Like so, the specials used to write about. Exactly, exactly. And your, your music could, could still play today as a soundtrack of what's going on here today in, in America. Definitely. And in definitely. the world, in fact. Yeah, that's, that's why you're so important, man. Oh, you know what I yeah, did definitely. today? Hold on. What's Hold that? Go on, tell me. I mean, never, I mean, never make you see it. <laughs> Go on, tell Bam. me. Bam, do you see that shirt? Do you see that shirt? I can't see it. So hold on, 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 hold on. Bam, do you see that? Can I you see it? see it? Oh, oh my I, god, you can see it. Is I can see the checks. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Wow, yeah, nice one, nice one. Is, that was the last that, time I saw you. I know it's got the signature as well. It's got the signature. I, this is the first time I wore it, just so you know. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I think I best put this on. Guess who's coming on? <laughs> I just put this one. You, this, this, you know why I put this one on? Because I was, I was coming leave. on. Yes. And also, <laughs> I was just going to leave this as a, you know, as a memorabilia. I was never going to wear this. Okay. Because this is, this is a collector's piece. Definitely. But um, I sent you those photos. Did you see them? I remember that day very well. I have the, I have the photos too. I have everything. Everything, my brother. Everything. Yeah, when you come, you know, anytime you come to England, you know you're going to see me and Sugary. You know we're yes. going to take you up to all these places, two yes, town, sir. museum. Listen, listen, hold on, hold on. Let me tell them. Let me tell them. So, you know, I'm going to tell this story, people, before we get into the videos. Okay. I go, I, I get on the train. I go to Coventry. You know, I'm just going to go see Neville, right? Because I just know Neville, right? I don't know Neville, the specials. I, although, you know I Neville. know he's in the specials, but I didn't know what that meant. 
Yes. So I go, I go, I get off the train. Never meets me. Blah blah blah. We're chilling. And the first place he takes me to was this village place, right? It's that two tone. I said, "Oh, they got two tone village." Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> and then I looked. There was a museum. Oh, oh, there's a museum. Oh, there was a cafe. Oh, never your first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got your own museum. <laughs> you got your own museum. Yeah, I, know. I was, I was so shocked. <laughs> I didn't know to the what level this man was on. You understand me? I did okay. not know. I never knew. I, I was I'm stupid that way. I should have known. But I did not know. I did not know. I thought But listen, Cooley, Cooley, we, we got your we got your signature all over the door, on yeah. the wall. John, 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 show those pictures. Show where me, you are. John, show those some of those pictures. Hold on. I have I I have the moments that I commemorated. My trip to Coventry. Hold on, hold on. Throw, throw some of those pictures up there, John. If you can, do it. Do it now. <laughs> oh, my God. So I, I'm, I'm going in here, people. Listen, I'm going in here not really knowing. I, like I know Neville, right? You know, me and him, cool, whatever. I didn't know the backdrop and the history and what it meant to England. It's one thing... Yeah. To see it here in America, and everyone who runs out to the shows, because that's just musician stuff, right? But yes, yes, you're like a national treasure. Oh, thank you, mate. Do you know, I'm like, it's like how they have Bob Marley shrine in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's well, it's that's not, what this man's got. He's got, he's got, he's got a museum, people. A museum. <laughs> but you see, that's where all uh, like country. That's where the special started from. You, you know, so I thought, right, let's take Cooley up here so he can see what's happening. Because a lot of people don't know about it. I didn't know about it. I was ignorant to it all. Yeah. Uh, yes, I, I, I see how people react in, in, you know, the shows and stuff. But, this, you know, that's just musician life for me. That's all I think of. You know, this is, this is yeah. supposed yeah. to happen. But you don't yeah. see um, how the community, which Coventry is like the you know, is, is, is the Mecca. But mm. the community, how it rallied around the movement to create this museum and this space for, for the music. I mean, that's like a Motown. Or, and, well, it, and, and it's, near, it's not even, Motown is not even shaped up like this. It's, yeah, but it's to crazy. Be, you, you know what happens as well? We get people from America, Japan, all over the world that comes there just to see or be part of the uh, two-turn yeah. movement. I, 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 I can see why, man. I, I'm humbled. I'm humbled and, and humbled to know you on, on a different level, but humbled to see what you've achieved, man. I was, I'm extremely proud of you, dude. Keep, keep yeah, up. but you see, as well, I know you, not, <clears throat> not just because of music. Right. You've got a good heart. We get on. You come to England. You give me a hard time. <laughs> no, no, listen, a good hard time. We get on, you know what I mean? Yeah, we man, move we, about. We went out, we had a curry, man. We had nice food. Me, you, we, yeah, you we go. had a nice time. It was nice. Up and down London. Nice. Yeah, man. Oh, you came to my flat too? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. After you did some radio show and stuff like that. That's right. You brought me, you were doing some interview oh, and, and you brought yeah, me Yeah, yeah. You, you did another show in, um, no, you did the BBC that morning, and you came over in the afternoon, and then um, yeah, it could have been uh, the London. I think it was London radio. I, yeah, I, I don't was, know. Yeah, I think it was the London BBC. Thing. Mm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, allow the people to send me some questions. We're gonna watch the okay. video, but they're gonna send us some questions. Ask you some questions. Okay. Because I can't just make it about you and myself because I, I, I would talk to you all day. So, <laughs> okay. so I'm allowing the good people of the world. <laughs> to chime in here, ask me some <laughs> questions, and also like and share, mm -hmm. and shout out the neighborhoods where you are, please, and we'll be right back with Mr. Neville Staple. Boom. Are we we can't get this no more. Them have a gone like down. Me don't know. Where the band like down? The virus 
Don't see no fear, nobody You could have near Tom, Dick or even Sally You could be strong, be bold You get you in a hole The virus ain't no fear, nobody Stay at home in your yard I travel abroad Ain't no fear, nobody Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here with the one and only legendary Mr. Neville Staple of the Neville Staples band, formerly from the specials. Yeah, but listen, listen, listen. The original yes. Rude Boy. Sorry, my brother. Sorry, my brother. I mean, I mean, <laughs> the, the original, original Rude boy. boy. And that is a fact. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. So listen, we've got a few questions here coming in. Um, John, okay, right. can you read the first question, please? Annie Clemens. Annie! Boom, 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 boom! What does the future of touring look like, at least for the next few years? That is a question I'd love to know the answer. Because every time we're going to do a show, all this year we've lost all our shows. Then they say next year um, we can be, we will be able to do shows. But nobody knows. They keep saying next month, next month, next month. We can just pray and hope it's not so long. There's a there's a there's a um uncertainty in the air that no one knows. Not even no one no, no one knows. No one knows. I mean no. they're doing little outside shows. We might we might be um <clears throat> sorry to say, but we might be forced to do some busking. I mean I've seen it. I'll, I'll, tell I'll, what, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what we do, right? Yeah. Because Sugary, right, she does a lot of video in. Yeah. 
all the video you see that uh, the Neville Staple Band does, it's sugary, she does everything. So uh, we'll be writing, recording, and, do, and she'll be videoing it. That's what we can all, all do at the minute. So I'd love to tour again. Thank God for sugary, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I'm going to bring her in a second. This, let me get to the other question there, John. We're going to bring sugar. Yeah. In. Okay. Russell J. Russell asked, Neville, hiya. You guys, Hello. You guys blew me away on SNL back in the day. What was it like playing Saturday Night Live? Oh, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Because you've got to remember that was first time in America. And we just used to see it. Well, I just used to see America on TV. So when we went um, to do that, oh, gosh, it was fantastic. I'll always remember that. Yeah, that was a high energy set. I remember watching that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You guys were crazy. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> question from Tim Receiver, the organizer of Supernova Ska Fest. Tim Receiver asks, what was it like working with Ranking Roger? It was great. We had a, we, we had a great time. Um, lots of energy up and down the stage, lots of energy. We've done a lot of writing together as well, but maybe we didn't, we didn't release a lot of it, but we did do a lot of writing. And on tour, we had a great time, a great time together. He's sadly missed now, though. Mm -hmm. That's when I first met you. With um, our special V. Yep. It's amazing. Oh, that's the, yeah, that's yeah that, that, it's full of energy. Special yeah. beat was full of energy. Yeah. Myself and Roger. Yeah. Incredible duo. I think Roger was trying to keep up with me with the energy. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great battle. No, it was, it, I didn't see no, any he losers. Would, he would have told, told you the same thing. He would have told yeah. you the same thing. Yeah. I didn't see any losers in that match. That was a wicked one. I saw <laughs> you one time on this. It was a documentary. Sorry. Is, is there, are there more questions, John? Yeah, there's more. Let me let me not let me not answer that. Go on, go on, John. Yeah, fire away, John. Let John. Dan, yeah, fire away. So we got Dan Schlicht is asking, who in the ska world do you personally draw inspiration from these days? Good question. Good question. Um, it's got to be the old um, stranger Cole and um, our great friend um, who just passed um, Bunny Lee, and there's Derek Morgan. Uh, quite the old. Um, Jamaican scars. Uh, that's where we, we, you know, we drew everything from. The special drew that side of the scar from those guys. And it's great now. Um, my wife has got me to meet them because I just used to play their songs uh, on my sound system. So all those old guys, legends, that's where I still get my inspiration from listening to their old songs. But a lot of people got to remember, though, um, the specials got that influence, that other side. There, there was the punk side, and then um, we've got the scar from the old legends. What do you have for me, more, John? Any more? Yep, Tobin Hill. Any chance of Tobin. another collaboration Tobin. with King Shasha? How about a Neville Cooley Ranks King Shasha collaboration? <laughs> Can I get one with him first? Don't know about that one, but uh, <laughs> you say, don't, don't know, know about, about that one. one. But my mate there, no, hang on, hang on. My mate uh, there, Cooley, yeah. Cooley, <laughs> Cooley, <laughs> cool no, my mate there, Cooley. We've got to do something one of these days. No, no, no. We're going to do something, Cooley. I know, I know. Um, I know. But with with Tasha, I don't know when we're not over that side, but, uh, because you come to England. And I'll see you in Jamaica. So yeah, I'll see you in Jamaica too. We too. might be able to do something. Wicked. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There you go, Tobin. Next one, John. All right, we got two more for now. <laughs> Lee McNulty, when when okay. you do the gig in London with Stiff Little Fingers, will you join in with Doesn't Make It All Right? Some, sounds like a plug. Um. Yeah, we're done, but... <laughs> no, we done doesn't make it all right. Um, on the tour with Stiff Little Fingers, they didn't come in on it. We done an acoustic version of um, that song. Nice, Stephanie Joe Lundquist. Yeah. Big up Kung Fu Sound System. She writes, <laughs> "What is your favorite song you've recorded and why?" 
I don't know. There's, there's so many. I could go back from, oh, gosh, there's so many. Should I just pick one up? No. No, there's so many. I don't want to just pick one up there because there's so many. I just don't want to. Okay. Because what's happening now, let's go for Ghost Town. I was gonna. I was gonna ask you about I, that. Had, go on. Yeah, Ghost Town. I had a lot to do with that, but uh, there you go. There you go. That's a wicked tune. How did that song come about? Yeah. Right. To be honest with you, right. Um, I, we, we were coming from somewhere. Me, Charlie, from the selector, and we're driving into into Coventry, and because everything was like down, and I just said to Charlie, oh, "Why this place coming like a ghost town?" And then don't let them lock up all the clubs them close down. That's my part of it. Wow. So that's my my part of it. So I don't know. That's that's how the song. Why look like the place closed down? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look many place, it come like a ghost town. If you hear the if you hear it, it's it's more Jamaican y with the yeah. Do you remember you, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. town coming like a ghost town. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All the you see it? Well that's right. Like, that was that was our reality when this COVID started. Yeah, the entire the entire well, I don't know what about the rest of the world, but in New York City, locked down. There was no one outside. I was outside by myself walking the streets of New York, and there was no one outside. People were saying, "You're crazy, Cooley. You're crazy." <laughs> you know, because I go in my car and I start <laughs> but, I start turning on my life. You're crazy. I'm, I'm like. All right, listen. Cool, if I saw you right with that on, or, yeah. or blah, 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 I say, Who's that? Because it's very difficult to tell who is, is wearing the mask. I wasn't wearing and the you mask. Know, um, oh, I no, wore the I mask know. to the car, just to the car, and I was parked yes. outside. Too. And that was it. I would, and I would just go. That's it. But anyway, well, I was oh, talking no. to you, last time I was talking to you, go on. Yeah. No, go on. No, Last no, time no, I was more, talking to you, and you was in the car. Yeah. Oh, go on, fire away. No, no, go on, go on. I'm talking to you. Go on, I'm listening. Sorry. To me? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's all you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm saying last time. I, last time we spoke, you was in the car, and now I thought, oh, he's not wearing a mask. I said, oh, that's good because I can see who I'm talking to. Because <laughs> I'm in the car, so. I mean, the environment in the car is only me, so I, I really didn't have too much to worry about. Right, so I see but, some but more listen, questions. Um, over here, well, you've been driving. Yeah. Okay, go on. No, I see people in, in the cars oh, driving wait, with the mask on. That's kind of crazy. I mean, are they afraid of themselves? What that's they, what I was going to say. <laughs> I, I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. I know what you're going to say. I know. I know what you're going to say. It's crazy. I don't, I, I, I don't <laughs> understand the logic to that, but, you know, I guess, you know, they're trying to keep a clean environment in their car in case anyone else comes in their car, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> Tell them to come in a Mikia. I'm too. Nobody come in a Mikia. You know, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> even if they're walking on this, even if walking on the street, they've got the mask on. Yeah. Well, that's so, that's protect yeah. other people, I think, because the the, the 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 logics behind the mask is my understanding. It's to prevent anyone else oh, yeah. from getting what you have in the event that you have. Um, COVID. So it's not so much for you, it's for someone else in case what you have is contagious. So you don't give it to someone else. I'm a bit, confu- I'm a bit confused on that one. It's, it's, a, it's an entirely confusing situation. <laughs> okay. Well, it is, well, you see, because... That's, that's you, what they say. You don't, know, you don't know what's going on. You don't know what you should do or what you shouldn't do. But you get a lot of people say you got to wear it, right? But then you yeah. go into supermarkets. Not everybody's wearing it. They, they'll have um, children's walking around. No, not not over here. Oh, not over here. So if if you you can't go in the shop yeah. unless you have your mask on. You, I was, <laughs> I've seen some people. It's 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 it's, be, it's been something where the police are called on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just shouting matches. You, you can just look on YouTube or IG and see all these craziness. Mm. I think we're going to go to another um, video and we're, we're going to come back and we're going to talk to Sugary. Okay. What you got, John? All right, we got a new video coming up. Wicked, wicked. We'll be right back with Neville Staples, the original Road Boy.
There you go. You got it right. You got it. <laughs> Shazam. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, good night, and good morning to wherever you may be. Please like and share. Shout out your hoods. And we are here with Neville Staple of the specials, but now Neville Staples, the original rude boy of the Neville Staples band. Bang, 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 bang. My avid. Yes, my friend. <laughs> so we have a few questions here. We have a few questions. One says, okay. what was your childhood like in Jamaica? Were you aware of Scar when you were growing up? Well, in Jamaica, definitely, because all, all my family, everywhere on the radio, were here in Scar. But it was still ingrained in me. It's from Jamaica. I grew up listening to Scar mm -hmm. all the time. That was, that was your it, was a, it was a newspaper. It was a newspaper for us over there as well. You know, as a kid, you used to know what was going on around, around the country. Yeah. Yeah. That's how sound system was for me. Yes. Yes, definitely. Okay, there's another question. Could you go back, John? Yes, Chris Murray. Chris Murray. Chris the Murray. Back in, the, back in the Coventry Boom. Automatics days, was the band gigging out much? Yeah, we used to gig a lot, a hell of a lot, driving around in the Bedford van, doing a lot of small gigs, pubs, 
Oh, yeah, we used to be going all over the place. I have a question before you, before you go. What was the turning point that the specials became the specials as opposed to just a local pub band? What was the turning point that made you guys explode like that? Well, to be honest with you, um, it, we had the punk and the ska, and then I was I went in it to put, give it that Jamaican flavour. So I think that kind of give it the turning. For, um, you know what I mean? Because when I used to road it for the band, Jerry used to like how I used to DJ. Well, we didn't don't call it DJ, they don't call it toasting. So he wanted that element in the specials to give it that oomph. Yeah. So the turning point, I think, was when he mixed the toast in with the scar with the punk. And you're you're the point. first you're the first one to do this. I'm assuming. Yes. Yes. Definitely. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. And then you, and then you got quite a few. You got quite a few people doing it. Quite a few bands was doing it. Trust me. Which is well, nice. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. Don't. Don't. Men, why you don't play this shit? Right. Right. So what you, you go on. Hold, on, hold on let me let's get this correct ladies and gentlemen because i i just want you to understand the significance of me talking to this man right here you understand so you are the you are the you are the you are the king pan the chun pan this you're the so, sorry sorry people who's, who's listening sorry i'm gonna speak english so you're the you're the you're the man that brought this two-tone because it, it's, it's two-tone because of yourself it's two tone because you're a tone and they're a tone. Yeah, basically, yeah, it, it, the two tone. Yeah. The idea is because uh, the the black and white, but there was a lot of fighting going on, and we needed to show or show what our what we were thinking, what we wanted people to. Hey, why don't don't fight? So a two tone was black and the white. So basically, it was like that. All right, and I'm going to get into the music aspect of yourself because. You, you're saying before you, no one was doing that on this type of scar. No, no. no. One more cut, the significance. <laughs> Boy, I'm but, just not but, knowing. I'm not, <laughs> but, but, but Cooley, Cooley, this is, that's how it was. Do you know what I mean, Cooley? Um, I used to do a lot of um, DJ twisting. I keep saying DJs twisting from them Toasting. days. Yeah. I used to do a lot of it on, on my cousin. On my cousin sound system. So yeah. like I said, when Jerry heard that, and I done it, I used to do a bit, um, when, when I used to set the specials gear up, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But when we're, they're doing a gig and doing an instrumental, I'm by the, um, the mixing desk. I used to grab a mic from there and started tossing. Yeah. So I was doing that, and Jerry and the crowd looked around, so Jerry called me up on stage, because it, I think it's that element of it, it sounded different, and it was... Yeah. I was dropping around, I giving it yeah. because the music used to make me feel like that. Yeah, you can't, you can't help. Yeah. yeah, wicked man. So I'm sorry. That was that was a question I had to I had to do. There's some more questions, but I I don't want to cut Sugary out. Give me, yeah, we're give gonna me, put her in. Yeah, give me two more questions here, John, and let me make sure Sugary gets some time, some air time. Okay. All right, Ted Morris asked, "Did Neville ever hear from Toots about what he thought about the specials version of Monkey Man?" Yes, yeah. Um, when Toots was doing the shows over here, I'm um, got rest his soul. He, um, when he didn't see me with his specials, you know the the, the reform specials, and I saw him. He says, "Oh, never! I thought I wouldn't see you. No, never. Me think I didn't see you. I was looking out for you." Basically, what he's saying is he thought he was going to see me because he wanted me to go on and do Monkey Man with him, or he. You know, that's what he wanted yeah. to do. But he was so, it was like he was expecting me to be with the specials, but I, I wasn't. You know, that's when I dropped out. I went with him. And um, Chitz just wanted me to do something. He wanted to do the same thing. I was covering his stuff, the specials was. He just wanted that element. I would have done my little bit. Yeah. Okay, one, one more question, John, before I bring in Sugar, please. Okay, Lee McNulty. Hi, Neville. How did you meet Christine? That's a good segue. 
Oh, uh, listen to you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right. So I, so I, much- I, I know the story, but I won't even say anything. No, I'm gonna, I know you do. I'm going to tell go. you a little bit. I'm going to tell you a little bit. And when Sugary comes, she can tell you the rest. I was uh, Sugary's pinup. You know, Cooley. You yeah, know. Yeah, I know. So, I know. So when Sugary comes on, Sugary can break it down. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So a lot of me. So a lot of people, if they need to know anything else about myself, Sugary, Fire Ray, ask her. She'll, Here we she'll go. Kill Let's it, go. William. Come on in, Sugary. Come on in. 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 Move out that way. Never move out that way, man. I don't want to see you again. I'm going to walk. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Thank you. Oh, my God. Listen to me. I only have the utmost respect for you. You understand me? One. Thank you. You made my wife's dreams come true. We saw um, Sandra, not Sandra, because Janet Kay for the first time in our lives mm. and we saw we saw John Hall he yeah. was there before he passed away do you remember that was his last show that was his last show you that you was did. his last show we took you to yes that, yeah. was, a, that was an amazing time I, I'm I'm honored but let yeah. me let me tell you more about the music in this year we have seen the rise of the husband and wife team and I know mm. you you may not notice it but we have cat bite husband and wife team um stop the press's husband and wife team i won't mention another one but bite me by me and uh <laughs> <laughs> and, then, All right. and, and then, there's another band but they don't want to be known as the husband and wife team so i won't even have that but, but yes and <laughs> stop the presses and half past two but you're in that category you guys are, uh, a strong unit the the media is lit as we say over here, when you say turn up, you know what turn I mean? Up. It's turn lit. Up, yeah. Yeah, turn up, man. Turn up. And that's you. That's you pushing this machine, continuing to have its presence. The, the shows are always the, always packed. You, you even got festivals going. This is this is the era of the woman. Like just, I'm like seriously, like I'm 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 seeing it from from my standpoint. Just I'm just saying this from my standpoint. I'm seeing mm-hmm. the, the woman really taking control of this music. You know what I think um I think it kind of needs it because um women have always kind of been in the background of scar um mm. and there's some really prominent stuff from way back in the day you know like the Philistines and the Hortense and and stuff so I think it's really important that they get their place in scar um I took over managing Nev um several years back now um and I also run a festival called Scarmouth which is yes. in Great Yarmouth it rhymes yes. you know <laughs> Um, so, and I bring a lot of the legendary original artists. Funny enough, John Holt was due to come there, um, but sadly he died. Um, I, we couldn't, our budget wouldn't afford Toots, uh, but we had a really good relationship with Toots and met up with him often. And you were just saying, wasn't yeah, you? Yeah. Um, he absolutely adored what Neville did with Monkey Man. He said, out of all the, you know, a lot of cover bands do Monkey Man. It's a brilliant song. It's an amazing legendary ska song. But he loved what Neville done with it. The energy he gave, the vibe, the bit of toasting in the middle, everything about it, he absolutely adored, which is why he was looking for Neville when he was touring over here um, yeah. and did a show with the specials. But obviously he realised that Neville had pulled out by then and doing his own thing again, which he's always done, haven't you? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think it's important that the women of Scar get out there, you know, because... There's so much of it, and we need the female voice in there because we love it, we adore it just as much. Mm. And uh, so I do a lot of writing with Neville. I used to do more acting side of things mm. and music of a kind of punk genre. Um, but being with Neville, you know, what else can you do than, you know, <laughs> just work with him? And we work so well together. As he said, he was my pin up. And yeah. in answer to the question, during the specials reunion of 2009 and 10, at the original sort of reunion, the later one. Um, yeah. Neville was also DJing because he still always DJs, still always does his toasting thing. And his DJ sets are amazing. A friend of mine did a sh- um, put him on as a DJ in London, Oxton. And I live just down the road from there. I went with my sister and then he started chasing me all night. <laughs> <laughs> he was originally my pinup, and I don't, I'm not one of them girls who meet your pinup and then, you know, do all kinds of crazy things. 
I just backed off, I'd met him, I was happy, but he just chased me down, chased me and chased me. (laughs) Yes, and he kept sending his friend over who was DJing with him, and Felix was there as well, Terry Hall's son, and he kept sending them over to come and get me. I felt like I was at school. (laughs) You were like a little boy, you was. Yeah, couldn't tell that girl. Is that girl over in here? Yeah. Can I someone see her? Yeah. Bring her over. He gave me his book. He gave me a T-shirt. He was trying to smother me with his gifts. And I said, I'm not that kind of girl. I'm going home now with my sister. You know? So, yeah, it was one of those. Um, but he tracked me down a week later. I came to Coventry and the rest is history. Wow. Yeah. So the rude boy have the touch, though. Yes. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> the lucky touch. And the more questions from <laughs> yeah, buy us some more Chris Dantor. That's enough for me. <laughs> okay, so check this out. Check this out. Your 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 um videos. You're editing the videos as well as doing the social media, right? I I do a little bit of everything. I love the arts. I love being creative. So I do some video editing. I do some filming. I do photography. Um, I do some graphic design. I do all this sort of. The designs that you're wearing as well. I got Nev to do his autograph, uh, and we. Wicked. And what you're wearing is one yeah. of sixty shirts. There was only That's ever real. sixty of those made. Keep it. Keep so you've it. got an exclusive there. We try to always have an ex- exclusive number. We never make more than a hundred of something, but that particular one there was only a, there was less than a hundred made. Yeah. Um. So and we we like the fans to get something special. If they're quick at grabbing it. It What's says, it? and it's always going to be something exclusive they'll have. Yeah. Yeah, you're proud of that, aren't you? <laughs> what? When, you, when I, I got this, I said, send me back. <laughs> listen, listen. I might ask you to send me that back. No, home, man, that, no, yeah, he ruined these, but he wants yours. Listen, <laughs> the only time this is going to take a plane is when I'm wearing it, bro. You're mad. <laughs> 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 no, man, listen. Brilliant, brilliant. So listen. You have some new releases that, that just came out, right? Didn't you have some new songs that came out? Yeah, yeah we, we, we did um, Lockdown, which was how we were feeling and our friends were feeling about this whole lockdown, being shut away, being in isolation, that kind of thing. So that was the Lockdown song. And in fact, we've got um, a couple of um, CDs here um, and a 45 vinyl, which is kind of rare these days, um, that we... Um, oh, I'll just show you one. Uh, that we're going to give away to some of our listeners. Uh oh. Yes. There you go. There's one there. Yeah, it's going to come from so England. There's the, there's the CD. Hold on, McKeon, get one. Me, me, why, why yeah. Oh, we'll send you one. You know we will. You know we will. Woo! Um, there, there's the 45, which they're oh, pretty rare now. So, again, wicked. limited numbers, so it'll be an exclusive. But we've got a, a, a set of those to give away. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we've where, got that where can out. they find your merchandise? Where can they find your um, merchandise? Right, well, we keep it exclusive, and the reason being, we're trying to support local venues. Okay, so we've got, um, for instance, we've got this one as well. Um, this is a special edition, a checkered picture disc. Um, so what we're doing, we're selling. We've already done a Kickstarter campaign, and people have got them. But we're also doing um, at the Two Tone Village on Record Store Day. In a couple of weeks' time, the last record store day, because I've had three this year, um, we're going to be selling them at the Two Tone Village. After that, we will put them online. So if they go to um, from the specials.com, whatever's left, we will sell online. But they, as I say, they're limited numbers, so it's going to be first come, first serve. Okay. 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 And the music, the music that's online, is what what is online already? Do you have some records online? Or- yeah, so we've got the lockdown, we've got all kinds of stuff. We've got Rude Rebels, we've got lots of picture discs and coloured um, vinyl, because vinyl's very, I don't know about over there, but vinyl is extremely popular again over here, which is brilliant. People want something physical in their hands again, which yeah. is lovely for all artists around the world, because streaming is not, you know, the most lucrative business. You get mm. 0.000 of a penny per yeah. play. Um, yeah. The physical sales are the best sales to support artists, particularly in this COVID period where all the live shows are gone. We've lost 90 shows this year. So I've had to move all our contracts to next year. A few venues haven't made it. They've gone under. Mm. So we're trying to support a lot of the uh, local venues um, here in the UK. 
and try and keep them going, basically. Is there a way we can get to see Neville perform live during this this um, lockdown, or you know? Yeah, we've got um, we've done a, a few streaming shows already, but we're going to be doing a couple more in November. So if you keep an eye on the uh, social media pages, and um, if not the actual website from thespecials.com, we'll be announcing some some special streaming shows on there. Did, did John? Oh, I'm looking to see. Did he put some of your social media on on the um? On the page here, John. Did yes. you do any of that? Yeah, I'll I believe links. he did. All yeah. The links are there. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Also, you can support the original Rude what? Boy via PayPal. Oh, is it on there too? It's on here too. From the Send specials at gmail dot com, if you want to Send support Neville Staples. Yeah, Send it all. That would be really cool, guys, because we're trying to. Um, we've been writing during this COVID time, so we're trying to work on the next album. A lot of the fans are begging for the next album. We recently did Rude Rebels. Um, we did a, a special edition of Return of the Rude Boy. We did Judge Roughneck and Scar Crazy. But we're working on the next one, and there's some brilliant material there. There's a couple more 45s coming out as well, vinyl 45s, in time for Christmas. So keep an eye out. But, yeah, any support would really help us towards um, the recording costs. Yes, yeah, recording. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm, ready. I'm, ready for, I'm ready for, uh, 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 you know. Even it's a one word, you know. Yo, yo. Me take a one, me take a one word, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, I was telling him I would take a one word in the show, you know, on his record. Okay. One word, I'll take it. Any position is is cool. Um, John, do we have any more videos? Yeah, we have one more. Okay, let me get to some more questions because I see some questions here from Dan Slip. Go on, ask that Dan question. What's up? Are there any What's Neville up, Dan? and Pauline Black collaborations that exist? Sunday, I think so. Sunday best, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, you did Sunday best. Sunday best. So that's the only one we've done with Paul in Sunday best. It's a band um, that myself and a few other guys, Limbaugh, um, Pauline, it, it was called Sunday best. Is it an album or is it just a record? Sorry? It, was it more than one tune or? No, 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 it wasn't an album, it was a single. It was a single. Tell Pauline I said hello. Who? Pauline. Oh, I can't hear you so much. You're talking <laughs> quiet. You know what it is? I'm in the I'm in, I'm in the presence of greatness, so I have to humble myself. Yeah. We're gonna play one more video. We're gonna come right back, ladies right. and gentlemen. <laughs> sugary, I never staples that original road boy. Yes, sir. <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen, this was a fantastic Saturday night. I hope you enjoyed yourself. We had uh, just hold on, ladies before gentlemen. Original Sugar, Christine Sugary Staple, the wife of Mr. Staple, original rude boy. Never stable. <laughs> get it right. I get, I'm, I'm trying my best, brother. I'm trying my best. Uh, so we're, we're going to say goodnight to them. But again, thank you guys for coming on the show. It's, 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 it's an honor to have you guys on the show. Thank you. Nice love one, love to everyone. Stay it's, safe, everyone. Nice remember, one, they're cool. coming from England. This is, it's, it's, uh, it's, oh, my God. It's 3 o'clock. 1 o'clock. No, o'clock two. in the morning. Two. Oh, two. Morning. Oh, yeah. You've been yeah, chatting so, that long with me. I forgot what time it was. That's another, that, may I tell you, man, when you come on the show, I just niceness. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't thank, you, thank you so much for coming here tonight. And again, you're welcome anytime. And, you know, we, we want to see you in the States. And I think I might find a nice somebody if you come start out the thing. You see me? Yeah. yeah. And, and as well, t- thanks, John. Yeah, thanks, John, for the production yeah. side of things. It, yes, was an, it was an honor to, to be part of this. Thank you, Thanks, John. I do appreciate Thanks. you, John. And big up. And we'll Tim catch you next time, time later, yeah? Hi. <laughs> Look more. Yeah, man. Respect, man. Respect. Ladies and we gentlemen, talk, thank you talk. so much. We shall see you again next week. I believe we have Dave Hilliard from the Slackers coming on, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so. So stay tuned. That'll be a Saturday night of next week. Until such time. Oh. A big shout out to my car sessions people. I apologize for Friday missing you. I shall be back next week. Peace.